the, I work with a company down in Los Angeles called uh, Applied Minds that has developed a very, I would call it a high IQ video teleconferencing system. And it is, it, it uses video technology, but it basically has sort of the smarts to know who's talking in a room, where they're located, and when to do the cutaway shot, and when to do the super, and it's all automated. So you go into a room like you're gonna have a conference meeting in, person, but you're talking to a screen on the other side of the screen or other people, but the camera seems to be uniquely able, sort of uncannily able to sort of know when to get a reaction shot, when to focus on the person talking, when to drop back and get a, a master shot. So that's an example of, you know, what do you call that? Is that media? Is that video? I mean, I, I just think this story is using these tools. Sometimes the dynamics change. Sometimes, you know, television comes along and it makes print less. I, I remember talking to Paul Kagan many years ago, and I went to see him and I said, uh, who do you think is going to win? You know, the telephone companies or the cable companies? And he said to me, that's the wrong question. And I said, why not? That's the, I think that's fascinating. He said, no, it's the wrong question because you have this model, Will, that it's like the dinosaurs were great and then they died and then the mammals took over. And that may be what happened in biology, but it's not what happens in media. Anytime you get a million people doing something, you have a media business. You can sell ads around it. And media systems don't fade away. Otherwise, radio would have died because television is radio plus pictures. So radio should be dead. But radio stopped growing at the speed that it was growing in the Jack Benny era. Television became the fast growing thing. Radio still exists. And it changed its place in the ecosystem of media. And so. Yeah, I think over a long period of time, things come and go. Uh, I, one of my favorite bets for people is I think in 20 years, there'll still be seven studios. Alongside my bet that there'll be 100,000 channels because there will be some need for these big events, these Super Bowls, these presidential elections, and there'll be about seven companies that do that. And then there'll be all these other hundreds of thousands of companies that do other things. So. Media change tends not to put old media out of business, it just stops old media from growing.